In my experience, starting a ringer business can be quite a lonely experience in the sense that whilst you know that you're doing something which you really enjoy and something which you know is great for your future, it's not something that most people will ever be able to relate to. Most people have a job, whether it be a nine to five or some other sort of system where they go to work, come home, then they get paid. Most people don't have a business where they manage all these sorts of things for themselves and having this puts you in a bit of a position which not many people can relate to at all. This gives you a situation where, when it comes to asking for help or things which you may need a further understanding of, there's not many people that you can turn to, especially in the first couple of weeks, months and realistically years, as your friend circle has not really changed yet to people who have these problems. This can present unique problems for itself and can make you feel like a bit of an outsider. But let's quickly talk about this, what this means and how you can realistically deal with this, because myself it's something that I deal with, I know it's something that you guys will probably have faced or will face in the future as well if you're looking to start your own business, because most people simply do not get it. But let me quickly give you a bit of the background for as to why I am making this video. So as you all know, I am a student, I'm 20 years old, and I'm doing a business degree. Now you'd think that people on that course would be interested in starting a business, but what they actually aspire to do is become managers or something like that, something within a business. They don't really want to run their own companies, which to me is a bit astounding and surprising as, well, if I wanted to do a business degree, I'd be looking to start a business. What's the point in doing some sort of a management job after a business degree? If you wanted to do that, you should have worked your way up and not done the degree. But regardless, on this course, most people don't have big aspirations about when they leave and with the course itself most people are just there to essentially party drink and take drugs most of the time this puts you in a bit of a unique position because whilst i do like a good party let's face it for me it's not going to be life and i think that there is more to life than that and when i'm talking about running my own business no one can realistically relate i mean the problems that i say i'm facing most people say it sounds like bragging and it isn't it's just the fact that's what i'm dealing with at the moment. So if I'm talking about the fact that my business is scaling up to let's say £10,000 a month and I'm struggling to keep the books, that sounds like a flex to most people. They don't understand why that's a problem. When in actuality to you and me, this is just an element of running a business, it's not a flex at all. But this is the thing, until you change that friendship circle from the people who are not necessarily less educated but more but less aware of how businesses work to the people who realistically run businesses themselves you have that kind of gap between who you are and who you're dealing with and this can make for a very lonely experience because you can't really turn to anybody for advice most people don't know somebody who runs a business when they're starting out you can't turn to anybody for help in funding or stuff like that because most people simply just don't have a clue if we summarize it quickly so how do you deal with this and what do you do to work around it well, that's one of the reasons why I've started this YouTube channel and some of my other YouTube channels in the past. When I started getting into stock market investing, there was not really anybody that I knew that had a clue about what it was. All I was told is that it's risky and it's not something that I should jump into. But starting up my own YouTube community allowed me to interact with people who had similar concepts, similar ideas and did the same thing to make money. This, whilst it didn't give me real life friends if you will, it gave me a community which I could interact with of people who understood what I was dealing with and it's sort of a similar thing here. I know some of you guys who watch the videos run your own businesses just like I do and I know that you can relate to what I'm going through, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking and how it is running a business. That's what I'm trying to say here. That's the message of this channel and I think interacting with people on social media to begin with is a great place to get a better social circle. But I also think as you go on, as time goes on, the people that you attract into your life are very different, simply due to the way that you behave or more importantly where you are at the time. So let's say the changes that I've faced in the last couple of years. So let's say five years ago when I didn't really have much money, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to go to half of the places that I've been to, to see half of the things that I've seen, to eat in the restaurants I eat in and that sort of thing. Now comparing that to now, I'm in a place where I can go to these nice places and what comes with expensive places generally speaking is people that can afford them and most people that can afford them got there through the sort of work that we do so they understand the struggle and I think you're seeing what I'm saying here. It really is a big lifestyle change. You start to attract different people by being in different places because of what you've earned and this is a real tough thing to deal with in the beginning. 
it makes sense when you start to move down the road and I'm sort of in that transition period right now where I see half of my friends that have you know pretty basic jobs or simply rely on their student income or are between jobs at the moment and I see half of the people I know that are starting their own businesses they're doing quite well for themselves investing trading that sort of stuff it's two different sides in my sort of friendship group and you see the transition or, or at least I see the transition that's going on but when you're starting off it's very different to that because you likely only have one side of it, people who have no understanding. And it's like, how do you deal with that? And I think this goes back to the post that I put up on the community tab earlier today. It sometimes feels like you're on the wrong path when you look around and most people that you see are doing the opposite to what you're doing. But the truth about it is, and this is what you must remember for those of you who don't want to start a YouTube community or a TikTok community, even if you're waiting to get to those nicer places, just remember, most people that you know have unfortunately peaked already. If you're 25, most people have the sort of car that they're going to have forever. You know, whether that be a basic runaround or a mid-range car. Most people have the sort of apartment or house they're going to live in until they're dead. You know, a mid-range place. Most people's holidays, you get what I'm saying, they've hit their potential in life. Whereas if you want to keep growing with business, you need to understand that the path is completely different. It's going to be a longer path and it's going to be a different path to go down. This is going to present its own challenges and its own experiences and it's sometimes going to feel like you're ahead of people by miles, it's sometimes going to feel like you're behind people by miles and this is one of the toughest things to deal with in finding your footing and your friendship group and ultimately the isolation of business but once you start to build it up you understand in your mind this is just part of the map, this is just how it works, some days it feels like I'm winning, some days it feels like I'm losing. And eventually you'll be in those nicer places where you'll meet people with more like-minded beliefs. People who have had to experience the same things you have had to, to climb the ladder. People who are striving to their end goals that you're striving to. And this will allow you to build a better community. So I just wanted to make a quick video talking about kind of the isolation in business, dealing with people, dealing with friends, making friends related to business, and ultimately being in a social circle where not many people understand the concept of running a business because you start talking to them about it and it's like the face just shuts off they don't have any understanding of what you're talking about you might as well be speaking a foreign language but what i'm trying to say here is there is a group for everybody there is a friendship group for everybody there is a market for everybody and there is a place where you will find people of similar minds so whether that be on some sort of a forum in a discord group one of which i intend to make in a couple of weeks whether that be starting a channel like this where you can document your own successes and failures there'll be somewhere where you can meet people who relate to what you're seeing and then you'll understand that i am actually on my own journey i'm doing things my own way i'm not doing too bad anyway thank you for watching this one hopefully it made some sort of sense to you guys i just wanted to document again my experiences and thank you for watching hopefully i'll see you again soon